Well, let's have a look at your top story this evening. The spokesperson for Malusi Gigaba has neither denied nor admitted reports that the explicit video during the rounds on social media was in fact released by a mistress of the Home Affairs Minister. While Gigaba says the video is at the centre of blackmail and extortion attempts against him and was obtained when his phone was hacked when he was still Minister of Finance. In a tweet this morning, Gigaba has apologised and says that the video dates back to 2016 and 2017 and was only meant to be viewed by his wife. For more on the story, we are now joined by the spokesperson of Minister Gigaba, Mr. Vuyom Kize. A very good af- evening to you, sir. We thank you very much for your time. Uh, well, since we understand, or since the release rather, we understand that the minister claims that this is an attempt to extort him. Give us more information around that. First thing, first thing, let me just correct what you mentioned in the intro, that I, could, I, I, I can never confirm or deny that the video was leaked by mistress. Could you please run that by me again? All right. Would you like to confirm or deny uh, whether the video was in fact leaked by an alleged mistress of the Minister of Home Affairs? No, I've never heard of that allegation. Nobody has ever come up with such an allegation before. Where are you getting that? We're asking you if you'd want to confirm it or deny it. No, there's no such. All right, so you're denying that this is um, allegedly leaked by a mistress of the Home Affairs Minister? Yes, my, my, my problem is that for me to even have to deny, it, first, firstly it has to be, the allegation has to be made, the allegation has to be made. I'm not aware of such an allegation having been made at any point. All right, all right. But be that as it no, there is, there, there, there is just no such, no such allegation has come to our attention. So it's not even a question of a denial, it's just a question of setting the record straight that uh, we just not, are not aware of such an allegation at all. And if there is such an allegation, it's uh, just not true. All right, so let's move away from that. Let's have a look at um, the allegations that the minister has put forward, uh, saying that this has been an attempt to extort him. There's also been a figure that has been put on the video, uh, initially 10 million rand and then 5 million rand. Give us more details on that. No, man, what is put out is that the background to this story is that going as far back as April 2017, uh, several, like some anonymous person called the minister and uh, also his wife, uh, demanding that the minister meet a demand for a payment of um, an amount of 10 million rand at some point, some point, 5 million rand, and then a million rand in order to prevent the release of this video to to the public. We've also um, confirmed that uh, the minister fairly refused to entertain uh, those demands and chose to report the matter to law enforcement agencies uh, instead. Let's just look at the calls of, uh, you know, the rounds doing the comments with regards to the minister possibly resigning. Of course, he is a public figure. He's held in high regard. And somewhat this leak uh, contradicts what is expected of a leader, what is respected of a public figure um, to hold him or herself in high regard and to hold themselves up to moral standing. What is the minister's reasons for not wanting to resign? I, mean, I, I, I must say, I, I really have a problem with your line of questioning. You, you bring up a lot of issues that have not arisen anywhere else, at least to my knowledge. There's not been a question about the minister resigning. What would be the basis for that? Someone's privacy was invaded. Something that belongs to the privacy of their home and their marriage was, was illegally intercepted or accessed and that is a crime in the country and he's laid a complaint. Now why would somebody who's been violated be required to resign? Who has raised such a possibility? All right, because you've confirmed that the minister will not be resigning. Take us through um, some of the reasoning and of course the violations that you've said the minister has now faced and what he is expected to do going forward. The minister is awaiting the finalization of the investigations by law enforcement, which I think she has two complaints. Firstly, the complaint into the illegal interception or surveillance that he was 
placed under, and secondly, the resultant attempts to blackmail and extort money from him. So he's waiting for those to come out and for uh, the things to be finalized, and then he will proceed on the basis of whatever will be unheard by those investigations. All right, we thank you very much uh, for your time this evening. The spokesperson for the Minister of Home Affairs.